Hey, it's Mike again, and today I'm going to be talking about automations and how you can use automations with your CRM to just take a bit of the manual labor out of your CRM operations. So I've installed the automations extension and that's available now on the tools. And if you click into automations, then it will take you straight to adding a new automation. So what you can do here is you can choose a trigger. So there's a number of different triggers. So if you had a new contact, a new quote, a new invoice or a new transaction. So we'll just start with a new contact here and then you can add a condition. So new contact as status lead. So this will be your list of statuses. You can do it with tag, so hashtag VIP. Or you can do field contains. So with field contains, you can say, for example, country. So if the country contains India, then that will trigger only if that condition is met. So I'll go to has status. So for every lead that comes into the CRM, we can do an automation now. So in this one, I will say, I want to send an email and you can say, send it to the site admin, send it to the contact owner, send an email to the contact itself or to any email address that you may want to put in. So if I say, okay, let's send it to the site admin for this and you can say new lead. And you can then do something like hi there. You have a new lead and then you can just save it as new lead. So you can save the automation as a new lead and then you can go ahead and view any automations that you set up as well. So there's a few different ones here that I've got in place. So I've got a new transaction automation. I've got the one I've just created there, which is turned on. You can turn any of them on and off through this automations area. And then if I go ahead and create a new contact, so I'll give it status lead. And then you can hit save. So that is a contact added with status lead. And you see the email has come through to say I've got a new lead. And then I can know that I need to go into the CRM and I need to action that lead. So that is what automations can do for every contact that comes in. There's a number of different things you can do with automations. So just touching on some of the things you can do, you can say every new contact that comes in, I want to distribute it across my customer managers. So if you have a team of CRM customer managers, every new contact will go on a round robin basis to be assigned to that customer manager to be able to then deal with that contact. So that makes sure that if you've got a lot of lead funnels coming into your CRM, then each of your customer managers are getting the contacts as they come in in turn. You can tag a contact as well. So if you have a certain condition here, so if somebody has a status of lead, you can tag a contact with any tag that you want as well. Transactions is an interesting one to look at as well. So if you're running a WooCommerce store, you can do something like transaction has status failed. And then if it's failed, you can send an email again, like before, and you can say, send it to the contacts. So you could send something to the contact that says this transaction failed, or you could send it to the contact owner to say, okay, there's been a failed transaction, go and do something with this contact. So there's a lot of useful areas there that you can do by setting up automations. And finally, we have the start of automation recipes. So what we're planning on doing here is having some automation out of the box things that you can do. So here's one where if you're running a lead distribution system, you may be getting thousands of leads a day and you just don't want your CRM full of loads of, loads of old contacts that have already been dealt with. So this could be a recipe where you go in and it just automatically deletes contacts that were added over 30 days ago. So don't use that one lightly, but this is the place where we're hoping to be able to add additional automation recipes that you can just turn on and off as you go through the CRM. So recipes is quite new and we'll be able to be adding new recipes to the time and also just having some guides on how you can create your own automation recipes that you may want to just run on a regular basis. So it doesn't necessarily need to be triggered. It could just be something that runs every 30 days, something that runs every day. You might want to do certain things in the CRM. So every day you might want to run an automation that emails all the invoices that are past you. And if you like this video on automations, I'll be doing short videos on all of our extensions 
and also a little bit of a longer video on our mail campaigns extension so you'll be able to see how you can start using all of this in a connected way so if you do want to see those videos hit the subscribe button and there'll be a new video coming every week